between Nico and Eon. This is grand finals. E Eon coming from the whoa, winner's whoa, whoa. side. Oh, man. He got me shook uh, for a second. I know he, he picked Falcon or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know he has a Falcon. And maybe I, I could see it, dude. I saw Mars do it against, against Yeah, Leo. dude. You could bait you could bait out that Rebels guard super hard and just yeah. like go to town. All right. But here we are in the grand finals. Winner of this is invited to SoCal yeah. Rising. Both I'm these guys have uh, been to avoid like, you know, uh, Smash Fest. Right. But uh this is like a, a really good like stacked like qualifier one. Absolutely. So it, it matters a little bit more. And of course, Nico coming from the loser side, he's gonna have to win two sets against Eon's Joker here. Yeah. And that's not even considering the fact that Eon might just switch characters on him. Yeah. Eon might just be like, oh, you, you got my Joker down? All right, let's let's play with Mix the ups. box. You know? All right, so, so far, not off to a bad start for Eon. 32% healthy stock on him. And uh, our send meter halfway online. Yeah, it's actually really difficult, I feel. Rebellion's Eon's gauge. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Yikes. What a roll punish. That's oh my the Ikea. God. I was going to say, like, it's actually really hard to play neutral with Eon because he's not going to swing crazy against, like, you know, uh, Nico, like other characters. Yeah. But Nico's getting these hard reads. Uh oh, fair one oh, into no the drag up down. air. Yeah. yeah. He got the rising up air instead. Still, at least he was able to convert and get that damage off of a uh, situation that was potentially disadvantageous prior. Back row. Oh, we got shield, and you got to respect that backslash from the ledge. Back row again. All right. Arsene's going to be out really soon. Oh, yo, Nico is covering this ledge. Yeah. Right. Nico's definitely coming into this with tons of momentum after the two big W's that he just got yeah. over... Uh, Oh my God! Who, who, who was it? Over Nitro, Nitro and, and, and uh, Massimo. Mario. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to remember who he played first. Yeah, he's uh, definitely a little bit more practiced in the Joker matchup, thanks to Nitro. Yeah, nice little warm up, indeed. Yeah, we mentioned different play styles, but similar. The characters the same, so similar options. Yeah. Oh, he's going. Oh, oh, my. oh he said, I don't care if you countered Great. the first one, man. That was amazing. Swinging again. Super well played from Nico and just showing the matchup expertise as well. Eon and. Also, a really great play using that Rebels the Rebels guard. So good, yeah, but Nico you know. immediately was like, "All right, that was good, but you're yeah. not ready for another one." Yeah, Rebels guard is really good to use like that off stage. It's like a, it's another form of an air dodge. Basically, you don't have to burn your air dodge. You can just tank some hits and get some more sand juice. Yeah. Nico looking, still looking really good though with the stock so. right now. Ooh. Every time I see him hit that Buster Nair forward tilt, that's just so much, like, juicy for Sid, for Shulk. I guess the back out of shield. He really has to try to press him at the ledge. He hasn't been oh. able to do much. Okay, beautiful. Uh, oh, oh, my he God. So he blocked the first hit, and I think he didn't realize that it's multi-hit, so he dropped hit, uh, shield in the second part. Ouch. Damn. Or a shield poke. Either one of the other. All right. That was a that was a really well, good match. Well, Nico so far looking good for this uh, comeback. Yeah. Possibly resetting on Eon. Of course, that was only the first game. He's got two more to go. At the very least, Eon also very quick. You know, being one of the younger. Well, not, he's not one of the younger kids in the Smash community, but when he joined, he was very young. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually a little bit of a vet now, right? Yeah, he's kind of a vet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, and Eon can definitely adapt. I mean, he, I don't think they played today, at least. So he kind of has to get used to how Nico's playing. And uh, it's a Shulk, and like one of the best Shulks to do oh in general. Oh, my God, so. dude. 82% unanswered, no dent in Eon's armor right here. He's got tons of momentum. He's got Nico off stage. Kind of let him get back for free. He didn't try to use gun or anything. Saving that option for later on. 112, oh it's God. still is going, gonna, guys. Is he going to hit him, dude? Oh, my God. He might not. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know. 
I mean, could you imagine he rebels guarded right there? Oh, <laughs> like, like, alright, cool. Bruh. Ooh, oh! He covered the jump from ledge perfectly, only to 5.7%. Yes. Damn. That percent matters. That decimal makes all the difference right here, and so will this combo. Yeah, you're right, dude. Eon is good at comboing uh, Shulk. He recognized that Nico switched to Shulk and immediately switched up the combo that he was going to go for, right? Yep. He did it a lot really well with Fox, and he just kind of translated over to his Joker. It's just really smart uh, situational awareness from Eon. Nice. Like, yeah, I like the choice of up to it there. Like, you're, it's not going to, like, do any crazy knockback, but it keeps him in place while he's in shield art. Nice dash attack. Covering Nico, uh, running to the Ooh. ledge. That's going to do it. He's going to get the spike, but he still stage back him enough to uh, get the stock at her KO. All right. He forced him to go in a whip. Yeah. This is again, man, the down so smash. Forced him out of the double jump, put him in a really bad spot, and just wait out the air dodge. Really smart from Eon. Yeah, here comes the guns. Now, this is where it's really hard to come back against Joker. When he has such an advantage like this, he can just really play the bait and punish style really well. Now, once again, Eon trying to use his platform to get this uh, extension with the up tilt. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, even using the guns off stage just to keep him off. Him. Oh. oh no, can't get a super hard punish there. And ah, yeah. dang. You wanted to use the uh, Buster like less knockback to see if you can combo into air slash, but it just wasn't enough. What a b answer back from Eon here. Getting a two stock for the victory in that game. One apiece now. Eon sitting pretty winner side of this tournament. You can tell, you can tell he, he's he's just stone cold, stone faced man. Yeah, he, like I said, he's just really good at adapting to like. I know he definitely doesn't want to go into a reset here, so he's just turning on the jets, really like you know shutting down the character like he knows how, and uh, you know trying to walk out with his dub. But uh, Nico did have a really good adjustment too against Master Mario with like that three stock after losing the last game, so. Yeah. You can pull a little bit of that energy into this game. Okay, so FD for game number three now. Um, I like that counter pick coming out from Nico because the lack of platforms is going to make it so that he doesn't get caught in these extensions. And also, I feel like Nico will have an easier time uh, corner carrying yeah. Eon as well. So he has more room to get to the side of that gunstorm. But see if it matters and see if it will make the difference. Okay, Eon's got Nico by the ledge. Nico finding his way oh, back in. Now watch that back here. He's falling down on top of him with it. Oh, shield's gone. Arson's okay. a little bit. Yeah. You can still get the stock here, though. Oh, my goodness. That was actually such a scary backslash. And a great dash attack from Eon. Oh, oh wow. wow. Nice. Dude, he got that, the down there right when he... Like, he knew he wouldn't ledge snap there, so he yeah. just covered it. That, that was, was really good. a good... I mean, I, oh. wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought to immediately... Like, that was a perfectly placed down there, yeah. right? But Nico answering back with a forward air of his own and evening out the stock count. All right. There it is again, just following up with the jabs. I like that. Though, because Nico was still in shield art, he didn't go very far, so he was able to just punish right back. Yeah. Oh. Man, he just barely missed timing, like, how to deal with these guns. Like, if he just was a little bit out of range, he could get a really clean back here on that. Okay, up throw up air from Eon. Okay, quick Monado switch. Oh. 
I'm just gonna get past him here. Oh, okay. oh man. man. He caught, yeah, he caught the double jump with the back there. So he's yeah. really, really hard pressed to sweet spot the legs in that situation. Yeah, man. This situation's come up for Nico a lot. Oh. Oh, nice, nice, dude. I, it's so weird because now I just see Hero. <laughs> yeah, Hero goes for <laughs> he the, does same the same thing when he has Accelerado. Thing. How do you say that? Acceler Accelerado? Is it, it's Accelerado? Yeah, it's not Accelerated. It's yeah. Accelerado. It's weird. Never played Dragon Quest, though. So. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was Accelerado, Accelerado, Rado, so, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's definitely not English. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> But uh, Nico still kind of hard pressed to make this comeback happen. Not impossible, but he's gonna have to do a little bit more in neutral. Eon racking up the, the, a little bit more percent here. Yeah. Meter's almost fully charged. Yeah. Here Green comes Arsene. Nice. You keep him disadvantaged long enough to deal with Arsene. Oh, nice. Covered the lane with the grab. This, now he's in a really good spot, but does he get the forwarder? Oh, he's so scary. Wow, okay. he's very, wow. very good to fight Arsen while he's in Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that was <laughs> actually was really smart. Yeah. Dude, to swing in that situation? Yes. He was dead if he did anything else. Yeah. And he killed because he was an extra knockback from Smash Bros. Yeah, and I was about to remark on how you said, uh, actually, I'm, I don't even remember what the hell. What, what, what had happened right before that? Nico just winning neutral Nico, over, over Yeah. Like, he was just keeping him disadvantaged really well. But then, once he had, like, all right, now I have him where I want him. He's off stage. I got the jump. I won him for, like, the deep Baron smash art. But he swung instead of doing yeah. anything else. That was actually really good for Eon. So now he's one game away from winning the tournament. Nico's going to run it back. Don't blame him. He performed really well on this stage. He's just, man, that last pose just really clutched me up. Okay. Quick nair to fair. Nico already taking Eon all the way to 50%. However, there's a lot of gas in the tank right now, and the engine is ready to roar. Arsene about to come online Ooh. for Eon just in the yeah. nick of time. Oh, man. Even outside of Arsene coming back there, just falling out of the second hit of Dare, yeah. that would have been such a good carry. And Nico hasn't been able to get that many uh, near to four dares in jump art at the center stage. Okay, jab it out at the ledge. Here come the guns. Dang, that is such a good setup. Using the guns to just send your opponent. Uh, it, it sends not, it doesn't have a ton of knockback and it sends them uh, horizontally to the point where they have to recover low. Yep. And so he's using the down guns to recreate that same situation and try to punish with the down smash, catch yeah. a two frame, or just overextending past the ledge. Yeah, and since Jolta B doesn't like automatically sweep yeah. off the ledge, it's just a really good way to set up for that. All right, we're gonna live a little bit longer here. Can Nico win neutral long enough for it to matter though? Oh, oh. back here out of shield, unsafe aerial. Okay, now smash. Can he get this stock? Eon just waiting so patiently. Yeah. But the up to okay. covering the jump. Nice. Just enough in time. Yeah, he, Smash Art was just about to run out, so that was definitely a Hail, Hail Mary, YOLO up tilt. Work, ended up working out for Nico. See, that's the, it's the thing about the way Eon is playing that Nico wants to activate some sort of Monado, right? He wants to activate Buster to get more damage. He wants to activate Smash to get the KO. But he's just having such trouble actually utilizing the Monado arts. Yeah, because Eon, again, like he's playing neutral really well. Like he's not just swinging at Nico or approaching minus yeah. sweep, so it's actually really hard for. He's playing just... super patient. Yeah. In fact. Yeah, like Joker moves have a little bit more startup, so he has to like bait out things for his moves to hit against Joker. And uh, baiting things off from Joker is not the easiest thing to do. All right. This is so much really damage. Spot. 
but he gets in there. No, doesn't catch the jump he went for, but there's the four there. Oh, oh. again, another really clutch Rebels guard in a really like dangerous situation, but the episode sends him back off the stage. He He's can't get it. the stock without uh, Arsene showing up. Okay, there, there it, is. it is. That was crucial uh, because the meter goes refreshes and goes all the way back nearly to zero. Yeah. And that, this is the best position that Nico could possibly be in, especially at a 2-1 deficit here in Grand Finals, Theon being in Winterside. But he needs to try to get something started with this, like, percent lead. Yes. He has a stock lead, but he, he hasn't been able to get anything done. Like, Theon's really rushing him down right oh, now. Oh, there it is. He's going to do oh it again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hey, he goes to get, get started just a little bit here. Covers the jump. Oh, yeah, he's a juicy buster percent now. That's exactly what he wants. Oh. Ah, yeah. Oh. Lifts the grab, but he's in jump here. Where's he gonna go? Nice. Stalls right to get the sweet spot on the up B. Oh. Nice. Uh oh. How's Young gonna get past the smash art? Oh, he's nice. Great to get up. The neutral get up perfectly. Gets the back throw and smash yeah. art with the two stock. And now, we in game five. One thing that just occurred to me is that because you're in. Uh, when you're in Buster, you do more damage, right? Mm -hmm. And because you're doing more damage, I'm assuming if you did a grab pummel, you would be taking more meter away from yeah. Arsene. So yeah, that's yeah. that's one thing that overall any character, any player should be doing to optimize a get, like jo uh, Joker counterplay is they need to be grabbing and just like mashing the crap out of pummel because it actually if you just pummel like without necessarily doing a throw or do a throw at the very last second it, you take away so much meter especially if you and, and re you remember to do your most damaging throw as well yeah, not yeah. necessarily uh, your combo throw yeah that's a really good idea for nico to utilize this matchup so uh let's see if he can get this reset poppins he on uh he likes the stage a lot i see him counter pick it quite often Really good stage. I personally don't like the uh, platforms for Joker's gun edge guard because you get to kind of get caught oh, there. Oh, for sure. But uh, other than that, really solid stage for Joker. Yeah, lots of room to run around now, specifically. Oh. Okay. Oh, DI didn't on the down throw. It's going to eat that clean arson up there. You def definitely want to get, don't want to get caught by that. Eon again, just waiting out the shield art. Oh, oh, excellent spot dodge. Expert, in fact, from Nico. Oh. There's the Rebels guard, though. Dude, the placement of uh, Eon's counters is just so perfectly timed. Oh, not going to get the kill, but you love to see it. Fair oh. one, up air drag down, down smash. Just close out so many sets yeah. for Leo. Yep. Oh. Such a good setup. Got the back air, caught the whip grab, jumped right over him and got the first stock. Nico working to get this reset started. This is where the first step begins right here. Okay, okay. Eon getting the dash attack right here. Yeah, he's kind of having a hard time keeping Nico like, trapped at the cor in the corner. Oh. All right, he's got a back air. Oh, still living, great DI, man. Oh, okay, air dodging through. Get some percent, man. It's so hard to just get percent when Nico has the lead. He yeah. plays so well. He plays perfectly. Optimal, in fact. All right. And Eon kind of just stalling it out. I mean, you do get meter over time as well. So this, it, like, when I say it's optimal, it, it really can be, you know? You don't take any damage. Sure, you could get meter faster by dealing damage, but it's not going to matter. Oh, when ultimately you get Arsene and you get that back air to take the KO, evening out the stock counts. Yeah, I like that from Nico, just yes. wait out the meter at this point. Finally, man, it, yeah. it took game oh. five oh. in a potential grand finals reset. Damn, that DI on the dare to tech, so good. Man, Nico just not been able to pull off his dares off stage. Either like he doesn't get the second hit he wants or Eon just like DIs it really well. Still though, this is a hefty lead for Nico right now. Yeah. As it, Opportunity to kill, and he's just covering this neutral good up with the back throw all day. Yeah, just laying him out. Nice spacing on the aerials right here. 
will be a zombie at work tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like kind of a zombie right now, you know? Yeah, especially Nico working on this reset right here. Yes. That's the only thing keeping me awake. <laughs> I was up at 4 a.m., so yes. <laughs> oh, watch the shield. Nope, no grappling hook either. And Nico working with this stock lead so well. Arsene's here, but can he even utilize it? Nope, no air slash. But gets the ledge trump there. Oh my goodness, the clutch Tetracarn off stage. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, we're still living the F tilt. Oh, he's not getting the air slash. Man, that's such a good hit. I wonder if he got like the sight, the startup of invincibility on yeah. the up B. But uh, there's the F tilt. All right. Nico, one stock away from resetting the tournament. Absolutely wild. I hope not supposed to be here. But here I am, and I'm going to do my best to get through this. Nico at 112% now. Absolutely playing out of his mind. He's One thing I've noticed is that he's really putting on a lot more aggression this time around instead of playing as passive as he was before. And it's working out in a lot of situations, but at the same time, Eon is able to get a lot more Rebel Guards. Yeah, that's, so, it, it, it's such a beautiful, like, perfect mix of offense and defense that you have to play against Joker in order to, to defeat this evil man. Yeah, and he's just added with the show art, too. He's just holding on this stock super well. Oh, but there's this dash attack called the rollback. Eon. Is he? Is he gonna be able to clutch the stock up? He's got a little bit of our send right here. Let's see if he can make use of it. He's gonna do guns. If he could have gotten at least one Aegon, that would have been significant. Yeah, Nico playing around it really well. Oh, oh my god, he spot dodged that. Yeah, that That's was really crazy. Risky. Nico's trying to. He's swinging. Out. Yeah, he's swinging. He wants to reset right now. I'm telling you. He almost doesn't care that he just like, he was like, I don't care if you get Arsene again. Do do Rebels Guard. Nice choice to the jump hard to get the center stage. Yeah, man, Nico's facing is so hard to get in on it right now, even for Joker. He is hyper focused. Nice up tilt, covering uh, the jump from Eon right there. Arsene nearly back. Oh, this is not the position you want to be in. I mean, he uh, getting put off stage and in the corner. Yeah, especially with Smash Shard. Like, you already know he can swing a, a kill really early in that situation. But Nico's not going to give it to him. Bad air dodge off stage. You hate and Nico resetting the bracket. <laughs> We're going to set number two in grand finals. What an unbelievable finish. <laughs> Nico just apologized for keeping us up, but you know what? It's all good. I respect it, man. Fight <laughs> to the bitter end, you know? Don't make it free at all. Show that you really do deserve to be the one that's invited to the top player Absolutely. summit. Yes. You know? SoCal rising at the CLG Center. Okay, Eon trying to make sure that doesn't happen for Nico, though. He wants the invitation himself. I can respect the fact that uh, Eon has just stuck to Joker this entire time. Because you can see it, it's taken him a long set, literally one set and then some. But Nico has started to figure out the matchup bit by bit. Yeah. Look at it. Much more uh, combos. His aggression is more directed. And even when, you know, Eon's not necessarily giving him free openings in neutral. He's not getting frustrated and attacking mindlessly. He's still just hanging back, picking his opens really well. Make it so he can hold leads a lot better against uh, Joker. Yeah. Oh, the double egg on though. Okay, down throw for Nico right here. He's nice. gonna get another grab on the oh. air dodge. <gasps> oh! Oh! Wow. oh dude, that's... <laughs> Sucks. Damn, Nico went super hard for that S guard and just super paid for it. And I got countered super hard. Damn. Okay, Smash already gets a grab. Forward throw's not gonna be enough, but he's gonna go into jump, see if he can chase him. 
Eon making it back safely. However, it gets carried right back off the other side. It's absolutely incredible just how Nico's been able to do this because it's it's not like with any other character, you know, you can you can do be aggressive, 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 and nothing is changing. But with Shulk, if you want to maintain that same aggression, you have to do it in like three to four different playstyles because you're switching through so many uh, Monado arts. Yeah. And it's not. Uh, even though your guaranteed combos aren't going to be super yeah. uh, extended, you just have to keep Wayne Neutra and reading their defensive option over and over. So Nico doing a really good job, but Eon bringing this back already and taking the lead. Or did I get mi get that mixed <laughs> up? Who, who I forgot who lost their stock first. Uh, no, yeah, Nico definitely right? lost yeah. their stock first. My short-term memory right now. It's, uh, <laughs> one in the morning, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ooh, uh, I slept four hours. <laughs> oh! If y'all both hit, it would have been even better. But nice goes high to avoid getting sniped out of his jump. All right. Ooh. Man, he's so good at using jump hard. It's so hard to chase him in the air when he's just move moving like that so fast. Nice, crossing him up with the back air, landing with the immediate up tilt. Oh, oh. the shield hard timing. So, so good. So good. Yeah. And can't even, uh, I'm surprised he even got the shield out. Yeah. I mean, I think. Normally that's like inescapable. We'll just get dragged down like that. But based on the percent that Nico was at, though, I, he would have just gotten like comboed oh. harder, maybe like by a grappling hook. But he was with Eon not having Arsene, he wasn't going to die to that up mm. smash. All right, but he is going to die to that back throw. Yeah, he. Oh. And he goes in try to get an opening here. Good tech chase there from Eon, though. Keeping him at the ledge where he wants him. Nice. Gun dash into the grab. Also, clean movement. Okay. Oh, no. He goes starting to swing a little bit unsafely now. He knows he wants to stop with the smash hard, but oh. yeah, Eon's not going to make it easy to get. Oh. All right. Beautiful back air. 92% here for Nico. Can he make it back up? He's not, got speed art right now. No, not at all. He's trying to close the gap. But you can see that Eon just does not yield. I mean, Nico rushes in his face, shields to force a reaction, and Nico just does not give. I mean, uh, Eon. Yeah. Really good avoidance from Eon as well. And the up smash out of shield. That'll do it. Game yeah. number one of this set. Yeah, that job is super laggy. Yeah. It's impressive when, you know, players find uses for moves like those that are just, like, not that great. Yeah, it's Shulk's jab, like, shit. That's one of the slowest frames yeah. of any jab. Yeah, he lands it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I see him <laughs> land it a lot. He doesn't get that much reward from me either. No. So you take what you can get, though. Low yeah. tiers, am I right? <laughs> no way. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not at all. Nico is definitely... All right, fine, fine, fine. Low tier jab. Low tier jab. <laughs> Showing this character is definitely not to be slept on. But uh, let's see if we can get another win on the FD. Been working really well at this stage so far. Oh, okay. Oh. Drag down into the oh. grapple hook. Oh, yeah. It's Eon is trying to put the curtains to this show play right now. Man. Oh, my God. It's the usage of the air, too. Nice. Oh, no down air reset. There's that jab. There's a jab. <laughs> Eon's really starting to shut him down a little bit. I wonder how much Eco like utilizes dial storage. I have to admit, dude, I'm I'm still a Shulk scrub. Uh, I never really never seen him did. talk right? about using it. Really, I don't think he really does. He, yeah, he doesn't. I, in this game, is at least he doesn't really go for that many super super technical yeah. moves with Shulk. 
He just kind of relies on his fundamental knowledge of the character. Yeah, and that's a great point. I mean, of course, you do have the, like, super hot, uh, advanced tech, but sometimes when you're just too busy focusing on the tech, you, you miss out on what really matters, which is the, the neutral. All right. And Eon doing a really good job in the neutral so far that he's got a full stock up on Nico. He's at 108. Oh my god, when those guns come out yeah, and Eon is standing at the ledge, Joker standing at the ledge, you, you know, you're trying to be, you're so scared, you're so scared. And again, the really good Rebels guard off stage to avoid getting the board air to his death. Eon is just, again, he's just uh, hit and run style so well. He's getting the tiny as he can, win neutral, send Nico in this bench again over and over, and just maintain stage control. It's really rough right now. Nice. Everyone the drag down. One. Oh, I guess he's not getting the right hit to up air yeah. to give me enough tumble to get the down smash. Right. But there's the forward throw. Yeah, it's a pretty tricky uh, setup for sure, especially without Arsene. Of course, with Arsene, the larger hitboxes make it easier to connect that combo. Drag down, up air, uh, up sm down smash. 122 on Nico here. He's got Buster Monado online. Once upon a time, I used to be care about being, you know, like canonically accurate with the, oh. you know, trying not to trigger the Shulk community. <laughs> I think they've uh, modes. I think they've grown up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give it as much a hard time as you used to. Oh, phew. those were some times. Oh man, Arsene's back. Oh. Tetracarn's here to say hello to your offstage pressure. Can't get these free forward airs off stage. Oh. Sitting really far off. Yeah. Luckily, Nico was at center stage when he got hit by that forward toe, because one of those by the ledge would certainly be the KO. Eon oh. trying to shark below with these up airs. Oh, oh I'm yes. just amazed Nico that stayed alive bad. this long without shield. But wow. then. <laughs> Not to Aegon. As soon as I say it, he gets sniped super deep off stage. All right, Nico has to make a super big comeback right now. Eon's only at 61% on his second life. Yeah, and it's been so hard for him to get early stocks because Nico normally, like, he gets his early stocks off of, like, edge guards. But yeah. Because Eon's been playing so well off stage that it hasn't been easy at all. Ahaw. Alright, so again, he's been doing really well with these snares at the ledge, catching Luffy good up over and over. There he is again. See, normally that forward arrow would just send him in a really bad spot, but Rebels guard in the perfect spot. Yeah, I guess that he's just played Nico enough now to know like the timing of his forward air off stage. So he's just going for the down B every time. Another grappling has to drag him down. Every little hit, Eon gets to just ice him with cake at this point. Arsene back to play. Work on this two stock. He goes down to so much work. But yeah, he jumps right into the back air. Eon's shutting that stock down super clean. 2-0. Okay. Eon. Oh, game away. Now yeah. Nico has to fight with a reverse trio to win it. After resetting the bracket with the game five. Damn. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta wonder, like, game after. Game 10 or what? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wonder, after doing so many game fives this, no, no this tournament, how yeah. much stamina do you have, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> oh, crap. It's not easy. He's to still kicking. And I mean, this is when Nico will really turn it up. We've seen it time and time again, right? His back is to the wall. He's down 2-0. Are you going to count out the reverse 3-0 right now? Not at all. I definitely would not be surprised to see Nico do it, Absolutely but it's not. got nothing short of the feet of like incredible Absolutely. if he can pull it off. Especially the way Eon's playing. Like, he was playing really well the first set, but now he's just like, his openings have just closed up immensely compared to the first set. Dead even percent right here on this first stock. All right, Eon finding a grab, goes for the up throw up air. Throwing out the grapple just as a threat. I mean, Nico is so far away from that. Possibly like forcing out an air dodge or something that oh, Eon could have uh, punished. Dude, oh, he's God, getting dude. so many grappling hooks. No. I like it. Down smash? Yep. Yeah. There it is. He knew. He knew he would overshoot the leg. And Arsene is here to play. Dude. 
up there, up to, oh my god. Man, it's like always amazing if you can still out the first stock without oh Arsene, and then you just get to snowball your next stock with a fresh Arsene. Yes. So good. Okay, after tonight, I main Joker, dude. I think, <laughs> like, out of all the Jokers, Eon has inspired me the most right now, dude. Not, not, not Leo? Dude. Like, no, <laughs> like, Leo inspires me pretty hard, dude. In different ways. Oh, Ooh, Leo, beautiful. Ins Leo inspires me by just being freaking good, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, he's a god. Cool. <laughs> I want to be a god. Let's see if either one of these gods can uh, pull out this victory. Yeah, that, that insane edge guard from Nico was like, just the clutch he needed to stay in the game. Oh, is he going to die for it? No. That's such a risky situation to put yourself in, though. <laughs> Ooh. Arsene's here. How is he going to deal with this? Unsafe dash attack, but he can't get a hard punish because he got crossed up on shield. There's another one. Oh. All right. Brave grab just throws him off the stage. He's really trying to deal with this Arsene in an aggressive manner. And it's kind of working out in his favor right now. Oh, but he couldn't oh punish God. the down guns in time. Ooh, and there's the chase so there. deep. Before he can even think about doing a low up B. Already got his stock deleted by that Arson back here. And now, Eon's one stock away. Yes, Nico down on oh. his last life. And yeah, and Eon just whip punching so hard right now. It's like the Joker classic. You try to run in on him, and then he just punches you and retreats back in neutral. It's resetting over and over. It's really frustrating to deal with. Especially kind of like Shulk, who just doesn't have that super fast frame data like oh Joker does. Oh my god, dude. Eon is oh, running I thought he was away dead. with this right now. Literally oh. running away with it. Oh man, this is uh, if he, if oh Nico, if Nico brings god. this one back, he's incredible. He's already incredible, but he is more incredible than usual. Back throw right there is not going to be enough, not even in Smash Art. He's going to keep that active. Oh, you already know that drop was oh. coming back, but there's right. the snipe on the ledge that fair. does hit the ledge. Yep, fair at the, does hit below the ledge. And that's a really good option to catch two frames or just your opponent sitting on the ledge for too long. There's the jump. Beyond's playing smart of the ledge. It again covers oh. the jump. Here comes the guns. I can feel it. Oh, man, really good spacing here. There's the throw. Toss him back off. Yeah, he had a good D on the down throw at least. But he can't oh, get the shield for a fair setup. I can see it. I see it in his eyes. El Bandito trying to take his soul. Oh! With yeah, a beautifully spaced it. forward smash. Yeah, that forward smash is so good for whip punishing. Reel back just enough to dodge your opponent's attack. 